Hello, thank you so much for joining me in front of my Christmas tree. It's a very misty, moisty, parky, as we say, up north. <laughs> in other words, cold day. So I'm not tempted to go out, especially as the, the paths seem a bit slippery still. And with nurses and ambulance men taking industrial action, I'm not sure on what days, I would rather not add to the NHS caseload by me falling and hurting myself. Mishka's got the right idea. He's curled up fast asleep in front of the wood burner. I'm coming back as a cat next time, but knowing my luck, I'll be one down in a farm, <laughs> out in the barns catching mice and rats for my meals, rather than being pampered and brushed and nurtured and cared for. <laughs> C'est la guerre. Back to the Christmas tree. Yup, it's fake. I have over the years had a couple of artificial trees, as I prefer to call them. I did for a few years have a real tree in a pot that came in for Christmas and then went back outside. But then it became too lanky and straggly and bless it, it tried its hardest, but it wasn't, it wasn't fit for duty as a Christmas tree inside. So it now, it's decorating my garden without the, the baubles and the tinsel. So it's fine. Back to faking. <laughs> There is a saying that fake it till you make it. And in many cases, I think that's true. If you are starting a new job and you're not quite sure, so long as you're aware of health and safety and you're aware of what you ought to be doing, then your confidence will gradually lead you from the faking that you are this confident person to actually becoming that confident person. And I have to admit that when I first started teaching, I had the advantage because I went in as a wrinkly. So when I went into schools, I hoped the children didn't realize that my knees were knocking because I was a newly qualified teacher. But they thought that, oh, I'd been doing it for years. <laughs> so they just let me get on with the job. But we had a friend many years ago who didn't like cooking and so didn't try and develop her skills. But as we were, my family and her family were both related to the Air Force, shall we say, there were lots of dinner parties, supper parties. And her husband said, look, we've been to lots. You've got to have people round here. So she said, OK, but I can't cook. So what are we going to do? She decided she would resort to a Chinese takeaway. But she would put the food into her own dishes and simply not mention that she hadn't cooked it. OK, if you can get away with it. So the first course went down okay. Oh no, I think she did grapefruit or something like that as a starter. So even she couldn't spoil that. But then the main course went down fine. But as a, a northern lass, and we are, we are talking, ooh, how many years ago? Probably about 40, 40 plus years ago. As a northern lass, to her, Pancakes were a pudding, a dessert. And we had them on Shrove Tuesday, pancake day, with lemon juice and sugar on usually. So amongst her purchases from the Chinese takeaway were pancake rolls. Mm, you're ahead of me here, aren't you? <laughs> when it came to serving dessert, she got out a jug of cream which she'd managed to open and decant from a container. 
some ice cream popped into a bowl and this platter of pancake rolls. <laughs> you can imagine the people's faces when they were given pancake rolls with the choice of cream or ice cream. <laughs> At that point, the faking it, she'd blown it. <laughs> Fortunately, they all saw the funny side, thought it was absolutely hilarious and promised never to tell. But as I wasn't at the meal and she didn't tell me, <laughs> people obviously did tell. Maybe we can get away with faking it sometimes, but I think we have to choose our fakery well. I never tried to say that my tree was a real one, so I'm not trying to fake that. It's fake. It looks beautiful. And that's it. So as Mishka has now woken in and is demanding that I let him out of the room, I must obey. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Take care and look after yourself. Bye for now. Speak to you soon. Bye.